Hi guys, it's Twigs, and for today's video, I'm going to be telling the story of young David. So it starts out with Saul as king, but he had disobeyed God. Why would you do that? So the Lord tells Samuel that one of Jesse's sons would be the new king over Israel, and it was his job to anoint him. Samuel was worried that if Saul found out about this, that he would kill him. So God tells him to take a cow, call Jesse to the sacrifice, and await further instruction. While at the sacrifice, Samuel notices Jesse's son, Eliab. Hmm. I bet he's the new king. Do not focus on his height or his appearance, but rather look at his heart, for that is what's important. None of these men will be king. Are these all of your sons? No, actually. My youngest son David is at home watching the sheep. Why don't you bring him here before we sit? When David came, God told Samuel to anoint him. He would be the new king. As David was receiving the spirit of the Lord, Saul was becoming plagued by an evil spirit, and in order to soothe the evil spirit, Saul requests a harp player. One of his servants suggests David. When the evil spirit would trouble Saul, David would play his harp. Now the Philistines were preparing for battle, so Saul gathered all of his men together, including three of Jesse's oldest sons. The Philistines then sent out their secret weapon. And here's our champion, at nine foot nine inches tall, he's undefeatable. It's the great and mighty Goliath of Gath. Choose a man to fight me. If he can beat me, then we will be your servants. But when I win, I mean, if I win, then you gotta serve us. Goliath waited 40 days for a challenger, but the Israelites were terrified. Jesse starts to worry about his older sons, so he asks David to go check on them. David? Yes, Father? I want you to go down and bring your brother some food. Then come back and tell me how they're doing. All right, I'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. So David went, and while he was talking with his brothers, Goliath comes out and announces his challenge to the Israelites. David asks about this, but this irritates his older brother Eliab. Why'd you come down here? Who's watching the sheep? Oh, I know how you are. You just came down here to watch the battle, huh? What have I done this time? It was just a question. Anyways, what will they give the man who defeats Goliath? Well, I heard that the king will give him a big reward, his daughter's hand in marriage, and his family won't have to pay taxes anymore. But there's no one brave enough to do it. I'm not afraid. These men go and tell Saul about David, so he calls for David to be brought to him. David volunteers to fight Goliath, but Saul tells him that he can't because he's too young. David then tells Saul about the time that he defeated a lion and a bear in order to save his sheep. He explains that God had protected him then, and this would be no different. Saul was convinced. He puts his armor on David, but he wasn't used to it, so he took it off and went to the river to collect five smooth stones. With his staff and sling in hand, he walks up to Goliath. Ha! What is this? You come to me with a stick? What do you think I am? A dog? You came with a sword, a spear, and a shield, but I came with the name of the Lord, and with his guidance I will defeat you. With that, David ran towards Goliath, pulled out a rock, and slung it towards him. <coughs> David then took Goliath's sword and used it to remove his head. The Philistines ran away terrified, while the Israelites chased after them. And that's the story of how God helped the smallest of the Israelites defeat the biggest of the Philistines. And this is the part of the show where we thank our wonderful voice actors. With Caleb as David, Brian Serrano as Goliath, my dad as Samuel, Jonathan as the voice of Yahweh, Dwayne as Jesse, Joshua as Eliab, Connor as the ring announcer, Addison as a random soldier, and my little sister as one of the townspeople. Everyone did a fantastic job. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm planning on doing a three-part series on David since he's my favorite Bible character. What giants have you battled in your life? Tell me about them in the comments below. And as always, stay tuned and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!